this one here is Kalima from Thick to Mon, and this is the last day that I have to pick this one because I'm not going to be here and this one looks pretty nice to tell you the truth I wonder how this one was going to look inside I don't know I think I was thinking about this one that, as a Smyrna type because it tends to drop uh, the fix but this one stay you know hold on the tree so maybe I'm gonna give it another chance uh, till next year to see if it is a uh, common or a Smyrna this is Kalima from Fig du Monde uh, I also have a Beltrana from Pons and this is not ready but this is the last day that I had to pick this one so I never had this one before so I'm going to open this one too nearly like a, <laughs> a good four or five days it's still hard and, you know it's not ripe but I want to see the inside anyway because otherwise it's going to get uh, wasted because I'm not going to be here for a few days. Look at this Cosme Manio that decide to put fix very late in the season. They're not going to ripen. I also picked this uh, Joao uh, Moore. It's not ripe, but I had two choices. Leave it there two ways or pick it, uh, pick it like this. This is a good four days more, maybe more. It's very hard, but I'm going to open this anyway to see how we look inside. This is the only fake that I have on, on this uh, graph. So uh, this one here is Kalima from Fig to Mon. I'm gonna cut this one. It's not ripe, but like I told you, I don't have another choice but to pick this one. This is how we look inside. It's going to be a beauty, but. So uh, this is Kalima. Mm. Even there is not like ripe, ripe, but it's really good taste. And I have my doubts now if I put pollen or not on this one because I feel like a taser like a little acidic so um, I don't know I think I'm going to test the seeds on this one just in case but it's it's really good I'm gonna save this part to taste to test uh, the seeds this one here is Joel Noir we're going to cut this one. It's not right, but I have no choice but to pick this one. And it's a beauty. It's just a beauty. It's a shame that I didn't pick this one, uh, you know, uh, the right time, but going to travel tomorrow so I have no choice my god this is an amazing amazing fig this is the first time that I taste this one and I'm, I'm, I'm really really surprised by this one really nice fig 
very sweet flavor really really tasty and you wonder how this one will taste with properly ripen but just like this like it is right now is just amazing I know that <coughs> there's more people growing this one so I would love to the people that are growing this one give their input about this variety Joel, Joel uh, Nor um, because this is the first one for me and I already like it I already love, love this one and this one here is Beltrana Beltrana is not ripen but like I say I had no choice but to pick this one here we go Beltrana from Pons and I know that this is a I, I never tasted this one before but I know this is a good variety but it's not properly ripen still look good so this is Beltrana I removed a part at the center because it was like a little bit like dry inside I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna. Let me see. I'm gonna taste a little bit. Yeah, it's like like dry inside, like pulp. It's like too thick. Maybe it didn't it didn't ripen properly. You see in the center there, like it didn't ripen like properly. So this one is going to be next year, maybe because my tree. I'm gonna show you. Oh, look at this uh, <coughs> super <coughs> super jumbo DK. Hopefully, when I come back, it's going, they're going to be there. I'm gonna show you my Batrana. Batrana still have some fix has two figs there so hopefully when I come back they they're going to be maybe ripen who knows anyway that was all uh, this was a, a, the worst year that I have um, with the figs between the critters and the rain and then I was traveling like for three weeks. So I'm gonna travel again. And I didn't get to taste some that I really wanted to because those ones, uh, the creators took them. Uh, like the Labrigia, I was so mad with this one, Labrigia. Uh, I have one Labrigia here. I'm gonna pick this one even if it is not ready. The creators took my best Labrigia fig two figs, even if I put protection to them, they still pick the, the, the ate the, the figs and I was so mad that I was thinking about even quitting. <laughs> because oh my god, can you imagine? Anyway, this is a Labrigia that was here. I'm gonna cut this one. I'm gonna cut this Labrigia from fig to mom. I really like this variety. Um, I like the color inside and the way it, it ripens. Usually it has cracks outside when when you leave it uh, like uh, to ripen, you know. Fully ripen, it, it has uh, like a lot of cracks outside. So it's, it, it was starting to get the cracks on, on the skin. <clears throat> Uh, this is uh, La Bridge. This is really, really good, really tasty. It has a, even the skin is delicious, and this is not fully, fully ripened. And I know that this is a really good variety. Um, 
this is what I have gonna taste uh, check these seats on this one